In this module, we will study about the condition of the traders and new towns developed for the nobles and the artisans, which are termed as blacks. In the 16th and 17th century, many of the European countries started search for good textile and spices. And as we know, India was rich in both of these. Hence, they reached India for the product. And as the Britishers reached India, they formed East India Company and expanded the commercial activities in the eastern coast. Earlier Indian traders like Mullah Abdul Ghafur and Virji Vora owned a large number of huge ships for the trade purpose. But later, they were forced to give up their ships and worked as agents for the East India Company and English people became most powerful commercial and political powers. The great demand for Indian goods in the market led the expansion on crafts and textile industry which employed more and more people and also the refinement of the weavers got more precise. Earlier the craftsmen and artisans were independent to work and sell their goods and also to design on their own but now with the system of advances, they had to work for British. Also, they had to make specific goods which were required by English with the design provided by the company agents. Also, in the 18th century, the whole scenario got changed dramatically. Let us see. In 18th century, cities like Madras, Calcutta and Bombay became famous for craft and commerce and major changes in craft and artisans took place. There established black towns by the Europeans within these cities, craftsmen's work artisans were established and in major cities whites lived and superiors were used to live in Fort St. George in Madras and Fort St. William in Calcutta.